What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Mike. As you see in front of me, the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Founds, the highly anticipated sneaker of this year. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you appreciate what you see in today's video, definitely hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. As you see, we have the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Founds. These sneakers originally released on November 19th. It's a very highly anticipated sneaker. It's one that they said there were 500,000 plus pairs. It's a sneaker that they called the Chicago Reimagine, and people were standing in line all year, it seems, to finally get their hands on this sneaker. It's interesting that some pairs seem to have been messed up with the whole mold issue, but you know, when I see the sneaker, although the rollout, the release, you know, maybe wasn't the greatest, I can't help but say I am happy to finally own a pair of Chicago Ones. So let's get right into our up close look. And what I will say too, we're using a new camera. I think it's gonna be really dope on the back end. It's already starting to look like the quality is just that much more improved. Let's get into these. You look at the outsole and you see the intentional dusting that they did here. And that's gonna be the theme of the sneaker. You know, it's a, a vintage sneaker. It's one that was left in the back room of a mom and pop shop. So they're gonna continue that trend. As you see on the white leather of the sneaker, it's actually sort of like a crackled leather um, and it's subtle. You know, if you're further away, you can't see it as well, but if you get close up, you see that white leather is cracked. The heel collar, one of the bigger things, maybe controversial. You know, people look at this and some are like, oh, I don't like this. They crack this heel collar and, and this black part right here, that don't look good. Other people are like, oh, that's dope that they gave it this effect and it stands out different from other sneakers. It's not like a flaky crack on the heel to the point that it's gonna start to fall apart. It's actually really cool how they made that happen. You know, normal black swoosh, normal Wings logo. When you look at the tongue, you got Nike Air. The tongue, nice and soft. It's not quite a white color. I look at it as kind of like an off-white. I went with two different laces for now. You know, I can't really settle on which lace look I'm gonna go with, whether it's the white, whether it's the black, but maybe I'll just rock them as is. So. Look at this sneaker, man. It It's the Chicago's, you know, with a twist, with a spin. I don't know if we got, you know, the traditional Chicago's in 2022, if it would have been enough. I think there still would have been commentary like, ah, oh, y'all went with the same sneaker. You couldn't give us something different. So in a way, I kind of feel like the details and what they were able to do with this sneaker design and the craftsmanship here, is, you know, they were able to give us something that the OGs can like, people in the modern days could like. How could you pass up on a sneaker like this? And I'll say one more thing. I think that, you know, there were definitely the moldy pairs or certain pairs where there were maybe glue stains and maybe it wasn't done the proper way, but I look at my pair and I really don't see many flaws. Let's move on right to the box. You see here, they have a different box lid because that's fitting the theme of, oh, I just had to throw a different box lid on. I actually like this lid. I like the color. And it's just different than the normal, you know, Nike box. On the inside, you get this paper. And this paper is actually quite cool. You know, it has the Jordan uh, logos, you know, sneakers from back in the day, the pricing from back in the day, $29.99. That's freaking ridiculous but you have all of that and then you know one thing that everyone talks about is the receipt from sandy bros sports depot you know and this price this is ridiculous i can't even i can't even talk about it because it's so cheap but yeah this is the idea of the sneaker to kind of recreate something that's been you know lost and then found before our eyes all in all Although there was definitely some flaws 
with that release and the sneakers app crashing and the backdoor pairs and the moldiness of it all, I think when the finished product gets in hand, although you know it was polarizing of a release, these are very, very nice. Now that you've seen the sneaker up close and personal, I just wanted to hit a few more points before closing out the video and also showing you the on feet. Stay tuned for that. But you know, when it came to this sneaker, Frankie was actually not too impressed. I think mostly revolving around sort of like the storyline, you know, the fact that, you know, they spoke about a mom and pop shop and this being in the back door of that when Nike itself kind of help to close out these mom and pop shops or takeaway accounts or you know all those kind of headlines that we've heard it's sort of ironic in that sense and i definitely side with frankie on that point of that kind of taking away from the allure of this and and from how cool it might seem um he also wasn't too much of a fan of some of the detailing say saying that it was like a little bit over gimmicky nike just is playing off of what they think we like what they think we appreciate and i don't think they're wrong and they're trying this out on a chicago colorway so although it may have some of its shortcomings especially with the release itself i do think that it's still a banger this year, one of the most talked about sneakers this year. And you know what's gonna happen on the resale market. You know, get your pair early versus waiting for too long because these will continue to go up. It's a Chicago. And one more thing I wanted to do was just bring this into play. The Ama Manier Air Jordan 4 in the Violet or colorway. I just bring this into the picture because we did a video on the Ama Manier 4s and just pitting these two sneakers against each other. Which one is sneaker of the year? If you subscribe to these two being the top two. When it comes to the two of them, you'll just have to wait and see because we do have a sneaker of the year video coming out real, real soon where we will break down all the top sneakers of the year. Without further ado, I want to thank you all so much for tuning in today, for seeing our review. Stay tuned for the unfeet. Definitely like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on the gram at underscore soul x soul. And until next time, y'all, peace out.